Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura Ventura with Paws and All, and today um, I want to show you guys what an infested dog looks like. Now, Devin here, he is very cute. This little guy is was adopted. He only has three legs, and unfortunately, he is right now infested with fleas. So I want you guys to see how this looks when a dog is infested. And as you could tell here, do you guys see all that red stuff? I am bathing him right now with flea shampoo and they're dying. So I'm also um, just letting him soak in all of this, but it's red because the fleas are dying and also fleas, what they do is that they suck blood out of the dog's skin. So this is what you guys are seeing right now. Now I'm going to leave this shampoo on for about, I would say seven minutes. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get every nook and cranny on his body. And right now, what I'm using for my flea shampoo, as you could tell, there's blood all over this. It's the Davis Flea and Tick Shampoo. And I'm carefully going to put this on his head. It is dangerous if it gets in their eyes, so I'm gonna make sure it doesn't. But I do wanna let you guys know that when you are bathing a dog that's infested with fleas, what they're going to do once they once the shampoo hits the body is that they're going to migrate to the head. They're gonna migrate to little corners of the body where they can hide out. And fleas, they go in cycles. So just because he has a flea bath right now doesn't mean that it's a cure. It's going to be gone completely. She's going to definitely have to fumigate her house and he might still have eggs around his bedding and in the carpet. So it does take about two, I would say to, I would say about two months to get rid of fleas entirely. So that's right. It's really important that you try to prevent this from happening in the first place because once a flea infestation is in your house, it is a pain to uh, solve that problem. But at least he's going to get a little bit of relief from this bath. And I am going to tell the client that she is going to have to fumigate, wash all her bedding, make sure that her carpet is nice and clean because you could see the eggs and you could see the flea dirt all over his, I mean, you could see the fleas and you could see the flea dirt all over his body, but you cannot see the eggs. And when fleas reproduce, it's a lot. And I also want to let you guys know that fleas don't like us necessarily. They won't stay on our skin or in our hair, but they will bite us. So if you have a flea infestation in your house, you're probably getting bitten by them. So if you think those are mosquitoes, they're not. They're just fleas biting at you. Fleas can also cause, he's never had this hot spot right here. And some dogs are unfortunately, um, they're allergic to flea bites. So what's gonna happen is if the fleas uh, bite a certain part of the dog's body, it's gonna swell up and it's gonna cause a really big hot spot and the dog's gonna keep licking it and be, it's just really never gonna heal. So what I would suggest for fleas is if you could get Advantix or if you also want something a little stronger and, the, and most effective is Capstar. And that is something you could purchase over the counter and it is a pill and you give it to your dog or your cat depending on their size. So that is something that I'm going to run by her. I've used it on my dogs. Here in Florida, we do have a flea problem. We fleas love humidity. So they reproduce pretty quickly here, especially in the summer because it's always raining and it's like the right type of an environment for them to be. Now, I do have to let you know, this is the first time he's ever come in with fleas. And the reason why he got him is because she does have a stray cat 
um, that she feeds, and he's the stray cat has been around Devin, so she's going to have to treat the cat also. All right, guys, as you could tell, there are there's a flea right here, there's a flea right here, there's a bunch underneath his skin, there's a flea right here. They are pretty dead right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and start rinsing him off. And I just want you guys to watch the water um, because it's probably gonna come out a little bloody. Now his tail looks so much better from this back. I'm gonna tell you something. If you wanna see if your dog have fleas, go ahead and check on the base of the tail. They love to hang out there. drying him I just have to do his face now again he was infested so I want you to know that if you have an infested dog that has fleas and you take them to a groomer they could bathe them and take all the fleas off of him but if they're going back to the same environment where they came from the environment has to be treated because if not what's going to happen is that the fleas are going to just jump right on him and the cycle begins again okay also the dog needs to be too. So the environment and the dog. The environment by fumigation and make sure if you have carpet, you buy a, um, you rent out a carpet cleaner and you go ahead and clean out that carpet as best as you can. They love to hide out there. And also if you have a dog, I would say Advantix and I would 
also say Capstar, or if you have a cap too. So, and I have to let her know to treat her outside cap. So, if you come close, you'll see he has, I'm gonna just turn on the dryer again. He has no sleeves, very different. He feels so much better. Um, this little guy deserved it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna finish him up and I'll show you guys when he is all done. Devin is all done. He's going to go back home. He got his nails trimmed. I also um, shaved his paw pad so he's not slipping and sliding on the tile floor. I made sure I I combed him out. I made sure also um, that he has no fleas, whether they're alive or dead. There's nothing on him. As you could remember his tail, there's nothing here. Now I'm going to let you know it is a little red because this is where they were hanging out and biting him. Um, and again, if you guys ever find yourself in this situation, the plan is always to prevent this from happening. But if you ever find yourself in this situation, act quickly because the cycle of fleas is like two months, sometimes three. So it might take a little bit to get rid of them all. And you also don't want them biting you, getting them on other pets, and they will get in your carpet. So, all right, guys, hope you guys learned something. He is feeling great. I am going to go, go to sleep great tonight knowing that um, I helped him out. So, yeah, up and out, love and light, Laura and Laura.